The information in this module is accurate and complete to the best of our knowledge. All recommendations are made without guarantee on the part of the author or the sponsoring institutions. The author and the sponsoring institutions disclaim any liability in connection with the use of this information. In a previous lecture, we discussed the seed and extend heuristics behind the BLAST local alignment method without examining some important details of its design. This lecture addresses those details. At the end of this module, you will be able to describe the main steps in the BLAST method, explain how the data structures used in BLAST help in speeding up the computations. As we have seen, in addition to the values of match, mismatch, and gap insertion, which are common to all local alignment algorithms, BLAST requires an HSSP and an extension threshold. As before, and for illustration purposes, we take the simplest possible values for each of these parameters. BLAST is intended to find a local alignment between a relatively short sequence and a very large database. The diagram illustrates the search of a local alignment between a given query sequence against a chromosome database. We describe now the steps in the BLAST algorithm. Pre-process the database. This pre-process endows the database with a structure that facilitates the search for KMER matches. Step 1. Instead of computing ungapped alignments, BLAST searches for matches of all possible variants of the KMERs in the query sequence, which fall within the HSSP score threshold. Step 2. Each match corresponds to an ungapped alignment of a KMER in the input sequence and one in the database. Step 3. This is done exactly as discussed in the previous lecture. Extensions are performed with the Smith-Waterman method. Step 4. The scores of the extended alignments are meaningless as they depend on prefixed thresholds. Instead of a score, the significance of the alignments returned by BLAST are assessed with the help of a statistical model. In summary, BLAST is a four-step algorithm and a pre-process that is executed before the algorithm. To facilitate our presentation, we make a short detour on numerical representation of KMERs. Each KMER has a unique numerical representation. As a first step, we associate a unique number to each letter in the DNA alphabet. To represent the former TGAC in base 4, we first replace each letter with the corresponding number. And then, we use these numbers as coefficients of powers of 4. In general, a KMER uses all powers of 4 from 0 to K-1. The resulting number is the numerical key representing TGAC. We use numerical representations as a tool to endow the database with a structure that is more amenable to searches for KMER matches. Again, for illustration purposes, we use very small query and database sequences. We set the word length as 3, this is, we use 3 MERS. Since K equals 3, we first identify all three MERS in the database sequence listing repeated KMERS only once. Here, we found an additional repetition and another one. This is the list of all three MERS and their position in the database sequence. Next, we compute the key of each three MER in the list and sort the table in the increasing order of the keys. The sorted table is turned into a binary search tree that facilitates the search for KMER matches.
in a binary search tree, the key in a left descendant is less than the key in the parent node, and the key in the right descendant is greater than that of the parent node. This happens in each parent descendant connection. And so on. The search method is a match algorithm. At each node, the input number n is compared with the key. If n equals the key, the match is reported and the search ends. Else, if the key is less than n, the search is moved to the right node or to the left node otherwise. This is efficient because no search can take longer than the height of the tree. For example, let's take the input n as 19. Since 19 is less than 26, the search is moved to the left node. Since 19 is greater than 15, the search is moved to the right node. Since 19 is less than 20, the search is moved to the left node where a match is found. We use the match algorithm to find all ungapped alignments between the k-mers in the input sequence and those in the database. In our example, there are just two 3-mers, one starting at position 1 and the other at position 2. This is the list of all 3-mers whose ungapped alignment with ATC and TCG have a score less than or equal to 1, the pre-established HSSP threshold. We compute the keys of each 3-mer in the list, and start threading each of the keys through the binary search tree. The first key returns no matches. This means that there are no ungapped alignments with the three MERS in the database that fall within the HSSP threshold score. Actually, the first key that produces a match is 12. Here is the trace of its threading. We store the pair 1 and 16, meaning that the first three MER in the query has an HSSP at position 16 in the database. After repeating this process with all the keys, we end up with all 3 mer matches on the database. The HSSP are next seeded. As it was explained in the previous lecture, the seeds are extended using the Smith-Waterman algorithm. Recall that the score extension threshold was set to be 1. The extension returns these local alignments. Here, M is the sum of the lengths of the chromosomes. As remarked before, BLAST is intended for local alignments of a short sequence of length L and a database whose total length is a much greater number M. To estimate the time complexity of BLAST, we observe that the number of k-mers in a sequence of length L is exactly L minus k plus 1, counting repetitions. Also, the total number of distinct k-mers over a four-letter alphabet is 4 raised to k. The number of operations involved in finding all matches of the k-mers of a sequence and those of a database is thus L minus k plus 1 times M minus k plus 1. And thus, the direct method is order L times M. By using binary search trees, BLAST involves 4 to the k times L minus k plus 1 times log M minus k plus 1 operations, which makes it an L log M algorithm. Thus, BLAST, much faster than a direct search of ungapped alignments, and also much faster than Smith-Waterman, which is also order L times M. By endowing the database with an amenable structure and using an efficient match algorithm instead of ungapped alignments, BLAST finds all HSSP in n log m time. Extensions return a collection of local alignments within the pre-established score parameters. An analysis of these matches is still necessary to assess their significance.